It's a lovely sun, sunny afternoon here. Um, just looking at the front of Bramble Cottage. Over to the, to the left of the front door and the window, we were going to install a, a downpipe for a, a, for, a, for a toilet outlet, a soil pipe. But then I started thinking and I realised that to do that, I'd need to get up a, a big ladder. And ultimately to, to have the soil pipe going up above the gutter. Not very good with my current um, neuropathy and inability to walk very well. Also not very sightly either. So we've decided on plan B. Plan B will be... We put a, put a great big hole. 110 millimeter, so that's that four, four and a half inches diameter through the stone wall in this area. Come out, come out here and down into the new soil pipe. So if we go inside, let's... So there we have the front door. And this is the corner where we'll put the hole through down here. We have the soil pipe coming down inside of the house. Put a hole in the ceiling there. And then up through into the room above. Also, this idea is good because over on this side, we'll be having a shower and we can run the waste for the shower just above the, the door lintel here and across into the downpipe. Once that's done, box it in nicely, plaster everything up, and it'll be a lovely job. Or at least that's the theory. Let's see. Now that spring's here, we can get on and do a little bit more work in the evenings. It's currently five in the evening, sun shining outside. A little bit too cold out there to work at the moment. So I decided to, to do this job inside. I'm upstairs in what will be our bathroom. It was, it used to be a, a bedroom. And for us, it's too small for a bedroom. I can give you some idea of the sizes in a moment, but there's no way that you could get a, a double bed in here. In fact, I don't think you can even get a single bed. So this is going to be a bathroom. My job for this evening is down in this corner. I want to have a waste pipe. The idea is that we'll have a toilet in this area, a wash hand basin over in the corner where that electricity socket is at the moment. And I plan to run the waste pipe down in this corner, downstairs into the hallway, out through the, the wall and into the new soil pipe that we're having installed sometime in the near future. So this evening's job is to cut into the floorboards. I want to, to make a, a square roughly the size of that pipe. And that will be where the waste pipe will end up going down. Once I've done that, I also want to come over here take up a bit of a floorboard here because over in this area here there'll be a waste pipe for a shower tray going down as well so enough of the talking let's go on with some work <laughs>
Torch out. And now, let's measure our length of pipe. We've got some pipe outside. Just cut it approximately for the moment. that it's too long to get up into the hole as is. So I need to work out plan B a minute. Okay, so new day today. I was about to cut the, the soil pipe yesterday evening. I decided that that was a waste of money. The soil pipe that I had the brown stuff is ideally used for underground work. The um, the pipe that goes from the from the outside of the house into the sewer. Pretty expensive to buy. I'll need some of that for for the new soil pipe that's going outside. So I went to the shop yesterday evening and I bought some lighter duty stuff. Lighter duty means it's a bit easier to cut, easier to handle. And it's a shorter length as well. So that will be a, a simplification of the job and a way to save money as well. Also yesterday evening, I looked through the tools I had. And I thought, why make life more difficult on myself than, than it has to be? I looked at the stone wall. The stone wall that I need to go through is about that thick. It's about half a meter. I believe that there's a cavity inside. There's a cavity on the other walls in the house. So I assume there's a cavity in this area. So on the way here today, I went to the hire shop, picked up one of these things. It's a 110 volt uh, drilling machine specifically designed to use with heavy duty core drills like this one. Uh, I have a drill already. But the man in the hire shop said, really, it makes sense to use this one because there's a clutch on the end such that if this gets seized in the wall, you don't end up breaking your wrist by the, the torque of this one flying around. So that was a, a good idea. I also picked up this 120 millimeter core drill. Lovely thing. So it should make the job easy. I also picked these up on the way. Don't tell Jill for goodness sake, because I'll be in trouble again. And I have a coffee too. So before I start my job, I shall open up these, drink this, and then go outside in the rain and draw myself a hole. Looking forward to it. Bye for now. See you outside. Well, I've been delaying for the last hour. I'd like to tell you it's because of the weather. 
But the reality is, it's because I'm scared. Drilling a great big hole in a great big thick wall. I'm just worried about what can go wrong. There's the drill. There's the transformer. There's where the hole is going to go. Through here. Electric cable here, got to move that out of the way. But honestly, I'm scared. Got no risk, no fun. Let's give it a go. Drills broke. Lost a couple of teeth here, so let's go and get it changed. Okay, so I'm back with a, a new one teeth. So let's see how this one moves. That's
Look at that. Excellent. Many years ago, I used to have a good friend when we lived in Virginia. This friend was a few years older than me. And he used to say, Richard, whatever happens is for the best. He said, you might not think it at the time, but when you look back, sometime in the future, you'll look back and you think, yeah, that was for the best. I was struggling for hours, as you saw before, with the other core drill. If it hadn't broken the tooth, I would have carried on struggling more and more. Because the tooth broke off, even though I didn't want to, I drove to the hire shop. They gave me this one. And this one looks to be better than the other one. It's early days. Oh, I'll show you in the hole. It's early days. But there's a definite hole there now, and there's definite progress. It's like being a vet.
as twins. Well, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is we're almost through. The bad news is it looks like the core drill can't go any deeper because of the handle on it. I'll try a little bit more, but if not, I'll have to use the, the chisel to get this out on this side. I can't go down any further. If I do, I won't get up again. It's not quite the way I wanted it. I wanted a lovely, clear, polished hole cut through with a core drill. In life, we don't always get what you want. I've got a hole. I've got some lime mortar that can fill it all in when I'm ready. So overall, I'm a very happy camper. What I'm going to do now is switch the camera off for a minute, tidy up the tools, make a cup of tea, and then sit down. Well, it's 20 past five. I started, first started drilling the hole, I think about 12, 30, one o'clock. I had the, sorry about the flush going, I've just, uh, just turned the water back on. Yeah, I lost half an hour to have to go and take the broken cordial back, get a new one. But overall, I guess about four hours worth of work. One thing I've realized, I think we said it in other videos, is that things take much longer in reality than they do when you sat there thinking about how easy a job's going to be. Having said that, the job's done. I'm going to finish for now. I'm not going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to see if I can get the uh, get the core drill back to the rental company tonight. That saves me an early start tomorrow. It means I can focus on some other things. Tomorrow I'll come back here and look at installing the... Sorry, I'm not thinking very well at the moment. Look at installing the plastic pipe that comes down or will come down from the toilet inside of the bathroom upstairs down through the hole that we've we've just drilled all right thanks for watching 